beautiful people from Padova. You can see me. I can see you. I love it. It's a strange feeling, isn't it? You're in your own world, your own zone. Maybe you're thinking, man, what I'm doing here. Or maybe you're thinking of your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Some of you have closed their eyes. Don't fall asleep, please. Some of you open their eyes, but you can't see. It's a strange feeling. But anyhow, when we have a problem and we don't find the solution, we go to sleep. And sometimes we wake up, hey, we know the answer. We have a solution. That's, for me, the feeling of being reborn. And we know that, all of you. Who is sleeping? <laughs> you can take out the mask, please. Thank you so much. So, I'm sorry I don't speak Italian, but we are connected. My parents told me the story. I was made in Italy, <laughs> next door in Venice, in the years of the 60s. So, I'm a little bit an Italian guy, so here you can call me Conrado, because Cohen, it's a strange name. But my life changes after a car crash. I was one month in coma, six months of clinic, two years of rehabilitation, start to walk again, start to use my hands again. I broke every bone in my body. At my left eye, I'm blind. But I'm still here, alive and kicking. Thank God. I have a second chance. I don't know why. I have no answer for that. Sometimes, yeah, I think I'm a saint. But my wife said, no, 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 no. You're not a saint. I believe her. But in life, you don't meet people by accident. I met Joshua. And Joshua is a physician from Oxford. And he created the Adspecs, adjustable spectacles with a flute. Can you imagine? That's me with my long hair. Huh. I change it. I'm an optometrist, and knowing that more than one billion of people worldwide have no access to glasses. So I thought by myself, yeah, I have a second chance. I have to do something with that. I want to help people to see better. And we start with the glasses, with the flute, even my queen, Matilde, visited me during a project in uh, Rio, and she said, cool, these are the glasses of the future. I said to her, yes, Majesty, it gives a better future to children. But I thought to myself, hmm, these are not those glasses for the future, because I had problems with the flute, bubbles, Children were playing, Cha! the flute came out. So it was not a sustainable solution. And I changed it a little bit. There was an Alvarez principle. It's also a physician, an American. And together with some Dutch engineers, they are very more smarter than me, we created the focus specs. And it's two lenses who slide to each other. By doing that, we create another dive tree. Who is wearing glasses or lenses or is operated? A lot, you know. I think more than 50%. So it's a huge problem worldwide. And for me, everyone has the right to a good sight. So the simplicity of these glasses are fabulous. You put them, zoom, 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 and I can see you. It's easy like that. 
it goes from minus 1 to minus 5, from plus 0 0.50 to plus 4.50. So we can help 90% of the problems. And they are not made in China. <laughs> in Holland. We work together with disabled people. And they are so proud to assemble this pair of glasses because they know we help people. But I forgot one thing. They don't like this. They don't like it. In those last five years, we helped about 350,000 people worldwide from South America, Africa, Asia, and Europe. But after one year, only 20% wear this. That's a problem. It's not sustainable enough. So I have to think out of the box a little bit. And we created with my team the iSnap technology. What's in a name, you know? It's not so big technology, but you snap it out and you can easily snap it in. So what's the tool of this? Left and right are the same shape. So I only have to cut one shape. And when they wear this, they love it. And that gives a smile on their face. Also, after five years, they're still going to wear this pair of glasses. It's normal glasses like you are wearing. I'm always happy when I'm in Italy. I like the fashion and I like the Occiali boutiques. Oh, I love it. My wife is at home. She's jealous. Mm. But my connection here, because I had a problem also, because with the zoom, 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 I don't need instruments. With this, I need instruments. But a factory here in Padova called Adaptica created the Kaleidos. And it's so simple. You all can help me. You only have to look into the machine, click on the iPad, chuck. I have the prescription. I take the lenses, snap them in, and I can go home with a normal pair of glasses. And that's, for me, the most important thing, is to make happy people. I love smiling faces. Yeah, it's gone. You're back. And in life, you know, we all have a dream. I think here, a lot of people have a dream. You have to do it. Take it. We have only one life. And maybe we can feel as reborn when we open our eyes. Do something with that. Because a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Thank you so much, lovely people of Padova.